Oh, uh, hey, uh, what is up, guys? Welcome to another uh, vlog. Uh, I'm here in the apartment to get an ocean side. This will be the last uh, vlog for tonight. So basically, back to what I was saying before. Um, uh, you know, if you if you're a long time uh, subscriber to my channel, you already know. But like, you know, back in the day when I, when when I lived at my parents' house in Del Marsh, House, Carmel Valley, uh, there's there's this favorite hill that I went down. It's called Swordsway Road, right? And it, it, it just got repaved, right? Basically, you know, I'm rocking my 2015 Lanyards Osteon, and I have like, I mean, at that time, I didn't have the, uh, I didn't have the uh, uh, longboard uh, precision trucks. You know, basically what I was rocking, I was rocking like uh, normal, just caliber 50 trucks. And those normal, you know, caliber 50 trucks are, are good for downhill too, but basically, since it since it, it it got repaved right you go so much faster right so basically i'm going down that hill going like 35 miles an hour right and i started getting like fucking speed wobbles man and i was getting so nervous guys guys the thing about it though is that i mean i mean if, if you ride skateboards like me you already know but those of you who don't know when it comes to getting speed wobbles, speed wobbles on a board guys there's nothing you can do. There's nothing you can do about it. The only, the only thing that the only thing that you have to do is just just hope that you don't fall off. And that I I I did not fall off, thank God. But man, I was so close to falling off my board, guys. I was oh, it was so guys. I was terrified. Like I'm I'm literally just going like, oh God, I'm I'm gonna fall. I'm 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 definitely gonna break a leg, break a bone, you know. And basically, I get down to the bottom of Swordsway Road, right. And I, I, I put my hand over my heart. I'm just going like, holy crap. That was fun slash exciting. I was, my guys, like for real, that freaking day, because like I said, that, that, was, that was back in like late 2016. That freaking day, my arms were shaking. My legs were shaking. I was so nervous. I'm like, I'm going like, you know what I mean? Like talk about like a big, uh, what's the word? Talk about a big uh, adrenaline rush. Oh my God, it was so scary but fun at the same time. So, but basically I never told my mom and dad about that because basically if I, if I would have told them about it, they would have said, you know, David, don't do that. Guys, just so you know, when it comes to riding longboards, you know, downhill skateboarding and stuff, like my mom, it, it's my hobby and my mom and dad respect that and stuff. But like really for them, like, like really just, you know, like really like, you know, honestly, they don't really like what I do. I mean, they, they don't, they don't, they don't, really, they don't really like the idea of me on a skateboard going like at insane speeds, going like 35 miles an hour. You know what I mean? It's you guys longboarding is a fun hobby slash sport, but it's also at the same time, it's a very dangerous sport. And you got to understand guys, a lot of people don't do what I do. Okay. A lot of people don't go, a lot of people don't fly down hills on skateboards going to like in, in, in insane speeds like that. They, they just don't. And, um, you know, but it's, but it's, I mean, it's fun though, man. But at the same time, it's, it, it is dangerous, man. I mean, there's guys, there has been, I can't tell you how many times I, I've, I've almost been hit by a car. Okay. Basically, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't think I told you this. Okay. It's probably about through probably about three weeks ago. Right. I'm, I'm, I'm I leave my apartment. I'm rocking my trolley horse. I'm going east, you know, on Oceanside Boulevard, right? Going down that, going down that sidewalk, right? And there, there's a bunch of driveways that go, that go, that, that go like into uh, businesses, like offices and stuff. And basically, like as, as as I'm going down that sidewalk, right, this this truck, right, he turns in to the driveway, right? And basically, he doesn't see me. And basically, I'm just going like, oh shit, oh shit, 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 shit. You know, he's, you know, you know I mean, basically, I'm, I'm dead, right? And basically. What I had to do, guys, basically I had to fucking, that truck made me fly in to the busy Oceanside Boulevard into fucking traffic. And I literally almost got hit by a car slash almost fell off my board because there was a bunch of freaking rocks on the road. Thank God I had 75 millimeter wheels on there, I had big wheels, but holy crap. And I, and I, and I'm, I'm literally looking at this driver going like, bro, are you kidding? Like, are you fucking, are you seriously kidding me right now? Like, are you serious right now? Like, I mean, I mean, honestly, I, I didn't, you know, I didn't flick him off. I'm, I'm just like, I, you know, I had my hands in the air. Like I'm, I'm going like, bro, what the hell? Like, are, are, are you joking me? Like, are you, are you seriously, you know, kidding me? Like, really? You almost killed me, you know? And, uh, guys, the thing, 
but you have to understand, okay? Either if you're if you ride skateboards, you're a pedestrian, or if you're, or if you're riding a bicycle or a motorcycle or just whatever, the one thing, the one thing you need to know, guys, the only thing that the, the, that the drivers and cars are looking for is cars. That's all that, 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 that their, their mind is just, is just focused on cars. Okay. It's like, basically to them, you're like invisible. That's, that's what it is. That, that, like, that's, that's basically how my dad taught me as a kid. And he's right. I mean, that, that's, that, 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 that that's how you, that, that's how you have to, guys, basically what you have to do is that that's how you, you have to kind of think of it. You have to think of it like the drivers to them, you're invisible. Cause like I just said, the only thing that, that, the, the only thing that the driver's mind is looking for is cars. That's the only thing that they're, 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 they're looking for. They, they, you know, they're like, like, like I said, to them, like if, if you're, if you ride skateboards, you're in a bicycle, a motorcycle, a pedestrian, like to them, you're just invisible to them. Okay. That's how my dad taught me. Okay. That's, I mean, you could, you, I mean, you could do what you want, but I'm just saying that that's that basically, that's how I look at it. You know, to them, like I'm invisible, you know? So, cause guys, you, you gotta understand guys that, you know, even a car going like five miles an hour, if it hits you, you could, you could still die. You know that, right? Cause basically there's so much metal on a car guys, you know, like basically the embedded, this is back, this is, this is basically back in my early 2014, right? When I was at, when I was at, when I was at my old parents' house in Del Mar slash Carmel Valley, I was in, I was on Del Mar trails, right? By my house. And basically there was part of the Del Mar trails was taped off and, there, and there's cop cars there. And I think to myself, like, what's going on? And basically the next day on the news, right? I hear that a jogger was jogging across the street and this driver hit her and she suffered a really bad head injury, internal bleeding in the brain, and it killed her. And that car guys was probably going by like, I don't know, probably like 10 miles an hour. Yeah. So that's the thing guys, you know, all it takes is just one car. It doesn't have to be four, it doesn't have to be five. It just takes one car, just one car to make a wrong move and you're dead. <laughs> okay. I mean, I mean, the thing about, I mean, people who get hit by cars, I mean, I mean, I mean, it's, I mean, you, 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 I mean, you, you, I mean you're not going to die. But, I mean, there's a lot of people have gotten hit by cars and, and they, 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 they didn't die. I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean, a few, a few people, a few people have died, but you know, but man, I, I mean, honestly, if you get hit by a train, if you get hit by a freaking train, man, you're dead. <laughs> that's, that's the one thing that I can guarantee guys. If you get hit by a train, you're dead. End of story. You're not gonna, when it comes to a train guys, you're not, you're, you're not going to live to tell a tale. <laughs> you're just not, I mean, a car. Yeah, maybe, but not, you know, not, you know, when it comes to a train, I, you're, you're dead if, if, if you get hit by it. So, cause I, I remember back in the day, uh, one time I, when I, when I, when I worked at West End, right. Uh, I was, I was taking the one one bus to Carlsbad, right from Del Mar and basically, uh, Encinitas station, right. The coaster. So that's the Amtrak was stopped, right? And basically someone, I think it was some homeless person got hit by a train. Cause basically there was a yellow body bag on, on the side of the tracks. So I'm going like, oh my, holy shit, that, 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 that's a fucking dead body. You know what I mean? I'm like, holy crap. And, uh, and basically like all the people on that bus, including myself, right? We're all, we're all, we're all looking like, oh my God, there's, there's, there's like a freaking 